Calvary Christian Center's Global Unity for Christ ministry is calling for action. Our brothers and sisters in Christ around the world are under heavy persecution because of their faith. But we can help. Here's a special report. For almost 2,000 years, Christians called Mosul, Iraq, home. Today, not one is left. Persecuted and killed or forced to flee, Christians and others have become the victims of religious cleansing in Iraq and Syria. Hundreds of thousands have been made homeless. They are desperate for food, shelter, and medical care. The lack of international response has been shocking. If we don't help, who will? We already have representation on the ground. Just 60 miles from the Syrian border, our very own Emily Jones is with a Christian organization ministering to persecuted Christian families driven out of Iraq by ISIS. There are many widows and abandoned children left to fend for themselves. The Bible says no greater love has any man than to lay down his life for his friends. And these Christians are displaying true, sacrificial, pure love of Christ by holding on to the name of Yeshua or Jesus. Um, even in the face of death, even when the tip of a jihadist knife is at their throats, even when a gun is pointed to their heads, they're holding on because they are heavenly minded. Emily and Iranian-born persecuted Christian activist Juliana Taimurizi both report from the Middle East. And it's interesting, Ron, how persecution and religious harassment, it does not a uh, weaken your resolve in Jesus, but it brings you even closer to Him. Calvary Christian Center, this is our opportunity to stand up for the body of Christ. This is a time to turn our heads towards our brothers and sisters' sufferings, and we can use social media to talk about the genocide that is going on. We have our phones, we can tweet about it, post about it, anything. Um, talk about it. You know, this is a time where we can't stay quiet and do nothing. We at Calvary Christian Center will wear orange as we stand in solidarity with Christians persecuted because of their faith.